You see, you can get respite or relief or legislation or whatever you need from an earthly, um, an earthly voice, an earthly organization. But you're always going to need God. Because some of us, from the situations that we're coming from, even though you may have uh, legislation on your behalf in terms of women or black lives or whatever your issue is, or you may have a lawyer, an earthly lawyer, some of the abusive situations and the situations that we're coming from, we need God to go inside of us and repair us. So that's why I'm telling you, look, yes, yes, you have your voice and you, you go and you cry and you talk, but you need God. You need God. We need God to go into our minds, go into our hearts, go into, I have to tell God sometimes, Lord, restore my soul based on what we go through. We need God in our situations. There are many challenges. I mean, you, I know you can be a witness with me. Just maintaining a godly lifestyle in 2023 with all the temptations and the challenges on the road. You need God. You need God to hear your voice. Raising children in 2023. We need God. It's not about what's in the natural, but we need God to help us in our health situations. Some of us need some some of us have situations that we need God to intervene. Or we're not going to we're not gonna be victorious in our finances in 2023. We need God. And in leadership, we need God. How many of you are leaders on your jobs? How many of you are leaders in the classroom? All of us are leaders in our communities because we are ambassadors for Christ. In leadership in 2023, you need God. 